guys! So I'm going to keep things pretty short and sweet for you today. I'm just going to be showing you a little tutorial on how to recreate this eye makeup look that I'm wearing. It was done using the Saharan palette by Juvia's Place, which has quickly become one of my favorites since I added it to my collection maybe about a month or two ago. And this is just an absolutely stunning palette. It has a collection of really vibrant, interesting shades and the metallics in here are incredible. The texture, I just, it's unreal. They're so buttery and pigmented. They're really best applied with your fingers on the eyes, which I will show you in the tutorial. But yeah, so I'm probably gonna be doing a full review of this over on my blog when that's complete. I will link it for you guys in the description box down below in case you wanna check it out. And in the meantime, if you'd like to learn how to create this very colorful eye look, then just keep on watching. All right, so I'm gonna start out by priming my eyes with my NYX HD eyeshadow base. Just gonna pat this in. Then we're going to go in with the shade Katsina. This is like just a neutral brown and I'm going to blend this into the crease with a NYX blending brush. Just do some gentle windshield wiper motions. Then I'm gonna go in with the same brush in the shade Sokoto, which is this bright sort of orangey red. And I'm just going to bring this down into the um, outer corner of the eye and blend it a little bit lower than where I put Katsina on the eye. Next, I'm gonna go in this shade Wudabe. Uh, this is a really cool, very shimmery gold, and I'm just gonna pack this on with my finger on to the lid. I think these metallic shades definitely apply best with your fingers to get the most pigmentation out of them. Then I'm gonna go back in with Katsina, and I'm just going to blend out that edge with the metallic shadow just to make sure everything is nice and even and there's no harsh edges. Now I'm going in with a Morphe E17 brush. This is a little bit more of a um, detailed brush and I'm going to apply Sokoto right to the outer corner of my eye and really pack on that color. Um, I'm gonna pack it and blend it a little bit so it mixes into the other shadows but I want the, the actual color to be a little bit more intense. Then I'm gonna go in with this uh, pinkish cranberry shade Bororo and I'm gonna pat this on with my pinky and just into the outer corner of my eyes and blend it with Wadabe so you get a nice little gradient effect. Gonna clean up my fallout and then I am going to apply the rest of my face makeup before we do the under eye. Then I'm gonna go into the lower lash line. I've got this Morphe E43 brush, which is a flat brush to just blend Katsina on the lower lash line. We're gonna just mirror what we did on the top, do Katsina first, and then blend a little bit of Sokoto right to the outer corner. Now I'm going in with the shade Chad, which is a matte black, and I'm gonna use this to stamp out where I want my wing to go. This is just a handy little trick if you're intimidated by liquid liner to do the placement first before you go in with your liner. Now I've done the liner and I'm going to set it down with Chad. So I'm just gonna pat that matte black on top and this will just keep it from budging all day long. Now I wanna add a little highlight. There was not like a shimmery champagne in this palette. So I'm grabbing this shadow from the balm and I'm just going to apply it to my inner corner using a Morphe E36 brush. And I'm also gonna take this up on the brow bone to do a little bit of highlighting there as well. Then I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup and this is the completed look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and the look that I came up with. I know that it's pretty bold and bright. I've been really interested in playing with color lately, which is why I went super colorful in today's look. And also I wanted to show you how many of the different shadows in this palette performed. But honestly, if you're someone who generally prefers their makeup to be a little bit more toned down, you could easily still get a lot of use out of this palette in the sense of you could take some of these more vibrant, bright shades and just use them as a little accent along with a neutral eyeshadow look. So if you have like a very neutral eyeshadow palette, this is a great sister palette to just give you some fun options if you want to play around with color. If you are new here to my channel, I hope you will click that little subscribe button. Before you leave, I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern time, so I hope you'll come back, hang out, and chat beauty with me again sometime in the future. And in the meantime, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.